Hi, my name is Kim, and I'm with the Volusia County Public Library. Have you ever seen something in another language and wondered what it meant? Or perhaps you'd like to say or write something to someone who doesn't speak English. Google Translate can help with that. There are a few different ways to use Google Translate. If you see a website that's written in a foreign language, you might see a Translate button located at the top of the entry. If so, just click on that. If you don't see it, look for a small letter G also in the top right-hand corner and click on it. The page will then translate into English. If you want to translate the page into a language other than English, click on the three vertical dots near the top of the page and choose the language you want. Although Google Translate is being used, the translation can easily be done without actually going to the site itself. If you want something else translated, either to or from English, you can go to the Google Translate site. To do this, go to www.google.com and click on the dots at the top right of the page. This is where most of Google's apps can be found. Scroll down until you see the Translate button and click on the icon. The word text should already be highlighted in blue at the top left of the page. To translate from English to another language, type the word or phrase into the box on the left. You can also copy and paste the text if it's in an electronic format already. Then, click the target language. If the language you need is not listed at the top of the page, click on the little down arrow to choose the language you want. If you want to hear the phrase spoken, click on the speaker icon. If you want to copy the translated text into an electronic format like Microsoft Word or an email, click on the icon that looks like two sheets of paper that will copy your text so it's ready to paste it wherever you need to put it. You might see something that originated in another language and need to translate it into English. If so, choose the original language at the top of the left-hand box. Again, if the language you need isn't shown, click on the down arrow. You can also click on Detect Language if you want Google to do the work for you. Then, choose the target language. My friend Kaoru in Japan sent me this note about the sakura, which are cherry blossoms. If you have a document in an electronic format like Microsoft Word, you can upload the whole document. Just click on the word Documents at the top of the page next to the word Text. Click on Browse your computer, find your document, choose your original and target languages, and click on Translate. It might not be a perfect translation, but you'll get the idea. Actually, when I copied and pasted this document into the text box, the translation was more accurate. So that's all there is to it. Google Translate has come in handy for me many times, especially for my genealogy work. This and many other features are available for free on Google. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit us online at volusialibrary.org and like us on Facebook.